Bruh, I'm gonna miss the time when I talk to you for how long? Almost five minutes. I waited five hours for five minutes. Bro, yeah, one <laughs> hour per minute. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I, I fucking wait for you for five hours, then you give me five minutes. Ah. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's me, the Curry here. Welcome to a new video. And in this video, I would like to show you on how to install custom skins with Phantom. So, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you need to go into the GitHub link. It will be in the description, so check it out. So, then you come to this link and you click on this. Phantom, there's a size on it. Click on that. Download it. I will do it also for you. Okay, not two times, but okay. Um, now open it with 7-zip or WinRAW. Now you have this one. I will like to paste it into my Phantom folder. So it makes no sense where you have the folder. After that, you open Phantom. Okay, so now what we have now is we need to choose this the League of Legends path. So I select that, select mine. So it's mostly on right games and then League of Legends. You need to select then League of Legends. So if you did that, click on continue. And here we go. First of all, we want to install a mod. So it's with a zip file and yeah. First of all, what you need to do is download one skin from here. Um, I want to choose my old Kaladin. I want to download that. So if you do this, that you will get a zip file with the name of the champion skin the version of it and from the user who created this mod and yeah if we do that i want to save it into phantom there we go and then I go into the Phantom 2 folder and click on the zip file. So it will take a bit. And there we go. And it will be automatically installed into League of Legends. So if you deselect it, it will not be. Um, insult if you select that it will be insult into the game so that's how you install um, skins from a zip file but you can also create your own and now I want to show you also how to do it okay so what which programs do you need to create your own mods or port um, older Vuxi skins into um, Phantom. So first of all, what we do is we download the newest version of Obsidian. If we go into releases and the latest version and click on the one with a uh, size. I do already downloaded it, so let's open it. Okay, so we're now in Obsidian. Now we want to port um, older skins in, from the Vuxi formats into Phantom. So you need to download um, Log Custom Skin Tools for that. And yeah, select that. And here we go. Already downloaded it. So this is my folder in here. That's how it looks like. Okay, w not with, with the Amumu stuff, but uh, yeah, I want, I will, I will deal with that. Okay, so we have, I have downloaded now, um, a Vuxi file named Spider-Man Amumu. 
and we only need to drag and drop it into the Vuxi extract like in my other tutorial video and press on this button so it will keep on the same folder like here and now you have um, the folder name and in there we have assets and this uh, that, that's what we need um, now you go into file click on create from directory and I select now the path to it so we are on the same and now you need to select the name of the folder you can see you have assets in there you'll need to select this folder one above uh, select it and it will automatically create the stuff for you once it's done click on file click on save and create I will create now a new folder I name it spider-man and I will save the what file into this folder so select what client file and we, now the important thing is you need if for example you have spider-man amumu custom skin you need to name the what file um amumu because you need to uh, because phantom needs uh the name to port it to leak and that's very very important that you need the original names of the files click save and writing successful close it and here we go we have now a client zip let's go into phantom create this button and click on click on create a mod now you select the name uh spider-man amumu author is asiras and i don't know someone and the important thing now is the most guys will type version one but this will crash your fucking game uh your your phantom um, you need a structure like 1.0 you need you need this structure or 0.1 or 1.0.0.0 um, it's important that you do not use only one or version one um, yeah, so we choose now and do not choose something like that Just only one number after the point um, Yeah, so 1.0 is the Version and now we can here select the image If you go into the I would like to select one random stuff Right now we can only use PNG files to import uh, Maybe it will be changed later and yes, now we need to select the what folder. That's what we do now. But I will also show, uh, um, explain you what a raw file folder is. Um, it's just you just import into League this raw structure, so you can change it um, every time. So. But this structure is completely broken and will maybe crash your program. So the better thing is to use a what file. So now we select a what folder. Go now to into this path. And now we select the Spider-Man folder it will also add it will you can edit multiple um, what files into it so if I have a map skin 
and we need map 11 data and le map 11 levels what files um so three watts for only one skin and that's now how we can do it so i move have only one what so we select that spider-man and simply select the folder after that create the stuff and you can see it's now into phantom now we go into the phantom folder um, I want to show you how it works so if we go into the overlay the overlay is the stuff where we load um, the skins into League of Legends um, yeah so you can see we have data final champions and you can see we have Kazadin and I have also in here map 22 I don't know why but okay it's crazy but I don't know so now what we do is select this button to install the skin and now you can see it will automatically import the Amumu Ward file into the overlay folder and that's it now we can test it into League of Legends if we go into play very custom I would like to select a number two and use Kasadin and let's see it in game okay so we are now in loading screen and you can see it loaded the stuff and also in game and yeah that's it you can do this all of your mods sounds fonts whatever uh, you want to mod and it's completely very very easy and yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have questions put it in the comments i will answer all of them and we see you in the next next video <laughs> bye bye love you all guys Please betray us.